Okay, so in this one, let's just look at some CSS animations and the primary ways of doing them. So in this case here, I just have an empty index.html and an empty style.css. So if you want to follow along, feel free. If not, that's fine as well. We're not really building out anything here. So just enjoy back and watch if you want to. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold shift and one, which is gonna give me an exclamation mark and hit tab. So that's just gonna generate a kind of a boilerplate uh, HTML here for us, like the basic structure of it. Let me make this font a little bit smaller for us so we can fit in more content. So I'm just gonna add a button here. We're gonna keep this extremely, extremely simple. So let's call this hover me. So one way to add animations is with transitions. So let's go here. Uh, I'm gonna just open this up with live server. So if you don't have this, feel free to go over to the extension tab and search up live server. Okay, install this. Should look like this, this wonderful Wi-Fi 6G icon. Okay. So once you have installed, you can right click on your index.html and open with live server. Okay, it pulled it up on the other screen, unfortunately. So let me just drag it here for you. It won't drag. Why you do this to me? It's the other way, that way. All right, there we go. There is our hover me button, wonderful. So what I'm gonna do is just center it here on the screen for us. So I'm gonna go over to style.css I'm gonna just grab the body, so body. I'm gonna add a display flex to it, which allows us to center the button in the middle of the screen. So the way we do that is I'm just gonna add a, a height to this body. So I'm gonna say 100 VH. So 100 VH basically takes up the full size of the viewport. So depending on your monitor, depending on your size, it's just gonna take up this whole space, okay? So there we go. So if I just add a background color to illustrate this, I'm gonna say gray and hit save. Now it doesn't work because I need to link my, my style sheet here. So let's just grab this style.css and hit save. All right, so there we go, full screen right there. So if I do 50 VH, it's gonna basically take up 50% of my monitor's height. Now maybe I should have added this in a section because it's not gonna work on the body. So let me just do something called just a section. Oops, section like this. Let me paste the button in here, hit save, and just change this to section. There we go, okay? So it's gonna take up half of the screen. Perfect, so let's do it full now and take out the background here. And all I'm gonna do is say justify content center. That's gonna drop it uh, horizontally. And if I do align item center, that's gonna do it vertically for us right there. I'm gonna increase the size of the button a little bit. So I'm gonna do button, add a bit of padding to it. I can do one rem and two rem. There we go, so it's a bit larger. And then let's increase the font size of it, two rem. Oh, that's, that's super big, 1.5. There we go, just so we have something on the screen here. Let's also get rid of that border. I'm gonna say none. There we go. I'm gonna change the color of this to white. And just increase the background, I'm gonna say black. Well, an off black, really. I'm not gonna do fully black. There we go, hit save. There we go. So I don't wanna do full black because then the contrast is gonna be a bit too harsh on the eyes with that white. It's literally on the opposite spectrum. So there we go. Okay, so one way we can do it is by adding a transition. So let's say I wanna add a hover effect to it. So when I hover over the button, I wanna change the background. So I'm just gonna copy over this background from here. Paste it here and just make the color a bit lighter. So I'm gonna hover over it and just drag this a bit up. Okay, now when we do it, boop, boop, it's instant. It looks a bit weird, but it works. So 
to animate this property to this one, all we have to do is go over to the button and add a transition to it. So transition takes in a couple of parameters here. The first one is going to be the name. So what, which property do you want to animate? So whether it's color, whether it's the border, the font size, the background, in this case, we want to do the background. So I want to animate the background and then I need to give it a duration. So in this case, I'm going to do 0 0.75. And then I also need to give it an easing. So in this case, um, I'm not going to do any easing. Okay. So let's see, still doesn't work. I believe we do need to add seconds here. So 0 0.75 seconds like that. And there we go. Look at that. We have that nicely animating in and animating out. Let me make this a bit brighter just so you can see, or maybe add a little color to it just to make it a bit more visible. And there we go. That's, <laughs> that's even harder to see. I'm going to make it super blue. Bam. Okay. And there we go. That's nice. All right. So here as a third property, we can also add an easing. Now, what, what is easing? It's basically how you, so the animation does last 0 0.75 seconds, but the way it transitions over to this color is very linear. So it, it starts at the same speed and ends at the same speed. GSAP has a great resource here to visualize easings. So the one we have here currently is called linear. So if I pull this up for you here, we can easily visualize this. Here we go. Let me drop it in here. There we go. So if we go over here, let's see, does it have linear? It might not have linear, you know, just custom. Oh, none. Okay. So this is what's happening uh, with our animation right now. It starts off, it goes the same speed, right? It lasts for one second. How much is this? I believe they have like two seconds on here, but as you can see, it goes the same speed. Now, if we add a little curve to it, like power one here with an ease out, as you can see, it starts faster and it slows down towards the end. Now the duration is the same. Oh, here we go. It's 2.5 seconds. The duration is the same. It's just in, in that 2.5 seconds, how, how does it actually behave? So easings are quite nice to use. I feel like they make animations look a bit more natural. You can imagine a car driving by and then just suddenly stopping. Like it's not very natural, right? So when you have something move, it usually comes like when it stops, it slows down in a smooth fashion. In this case, with none, it just, as soon as it gets to the finish line, boop, it just instantly stops. So th this is like an ease out. There's many ones like elastic, um, which can be quite fun to use uh, rough. Oh, this, this is not nice, but yeah, there we go. So in our case, we'll just add an ease out. Ease in is the same. It just <laughs> literally eases in. It starts slower and then it speeds up, but we're going to use ease out. So let's go back here. I'm going to close up this GSAP and let's see when we hover over it now. Look at that. It has a nice slowing at the end there. Okay. So that's one way that we can use animations with transitions. So it doesn't necessarily need to be hover here. In the next episode, I'm going to show you how we can add an animation with a class in JavaScript. So I'll see you in that part.